ההפך. Get your own mug. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Similicious um, with another video. Today, yeah, I'm looking at my tea like, what did I mix in this thing? Okay, let's not poison ourselves today. <laughs> so welcome back to my channel for another video about paralyzed okay so um last video i basically that was my first time looking at all the videos and talking about paralyzed and i really did love what i saw like it was so interesting um let me put this down yeah guys okay now i can focus on you guys <laughs> so it was so interesting and like, there's so many things that you could do in Paralyze and I thought that was awesome. I mean, uh, really guys, can you see the level of customization that you could do for people who love to build? Oh my God, it's probably like Candyland for them right now. It's just like, oh, I can do this and this and this and it seems so easy. That's the thing because I'm not a real builder uh, and I can only compare this game to The Sims because that's the only other simulation game that I've ever seen or played. And with The Sims, I see some build videos and you're just like, okay, this looks like a lot of work. You know, you have to do so much to be able to do that. So from the videos, it kind of seems like it is simple to do, but again, the game's not out yet. So we don't know what to expect, right? Maybe you have you will have to use like a bunch of different sheets to be able to do that, but it is at least possible. So this is just a short video um, to talk about what we know so far about Paralyze, okay? So we know that the team is made of four people. Um, there's Alex, there's Roxanne, um, Christine and Leah. Um, so that's what I was able to read online and um, there's no release date yet for the game it's still in the works we also know the characters in Paralyze will be called pair folks we also know that you can do so much as far as customizing the actual build in build mode so pets will be in the game now it is unclear if it will be part of the base game or it will be part of an like an expansion pack i am not sure about that but there will be pets in the game um, so we also know that it is going to be on PC or Mac, so that's pretty awesome. The major aspect of the game that um, so far has been advertised a lot is how much customization you can do, and I think this is a sell. The I think this is the selling point for this game. Um, so there's not a lot about the actual gameplay i don't think they are at that stage yet where they can actually show you a lot of gameplay in this video you are able to customize things and it's crazy so basically you can just like click on it and you can change where the door the, like the knobs are going to be the handles and what kind I mean, I didn't even, you know, sometimes you play games and you don't even think about these things, but that is so true. I mean, when you go out, let's say to Home Depot or somewhere to buy your appliances and things like that, you, you know, those are little details that you pay attention to. So that would only make sense that you are able to customize those things. So um, I love it. And the way you can play with the colors, I mean, you can build about anything. You're not very limited as far as like the colors. And then I love how you can like add the little burner on top of it and it doesn't have to be like an, an actual stove. That is very awesome details. I like, I really do love that. And um, yeah, the light, oh my God, see how you can dim the light and make it brighter. And it just, I don't know, it just looks a little more realistic. I like it. And that little dining table with the food and you actually can see the steam. And look at that so a table can have multiple sizes it's like you come with like you're not limited as far as like what you can use you can just use one sample and then change it in so many different ways i mean how like the way you would build would be oh my god you can build one thing you can use one item and make it make it look like different 10,000 different things and this little lamp thing i really love that that you can make it like a table lamp and then it can become a floor lamp and you can just change the size the height make it bigger smaller shorter 
it is awesome is all of this going to be playable because at the end of the day it's about the gameplay like i personally hate it when i download a house um and you know it's a very beautiful home but then you can't use anything in that home because of how things were placed because if you're familiar with the sims you know you can't just place things anywhere right because then the actual object is not usable so i'm just looking at all this it's like okay is this going to be playable because if it's not playable for me it's kind of like okay it looks nice and everything but if i have to replace everything and change things in order to use them i'm kind of like not very interested okay so that's the question a lot of people have and um I don't know if it's answered, I didn't see an actual answer to it, but I'm thinking, of course, what is the point for them to bring this and not for it to be playable? But still, it, it, it is awesome that you can customize things this way. I mean, for people that use life simulation games like The Sims for design and, uh, you know, build, they're going to love it so much, okay? So we have to think about that aspect. The builders, they will love it. Look at how this bed can be transformed. You can do so many things with just one bed. You can make it bigger. You can, you know, change it into a bunk bed. I mean, place one underneath the other. That's the part that kind of like wowed me, right? And see how the ladder can be just like switch position. You don't have to do much. Again, there's so much you could do. I mean, it seems to be so easy. One click of a button you know, allows you to do so much. They also confirm that there will be seasons. At least the videos are, you know, telling us that they will have seasons. So they have stuff for Halloween. They have Christmas things. Um, I mean, you can have like a Christmas tree. You can decorate the, I guess, the bottom of the tree with gifts. And you can actually change the shape and the size of the gifts. That's, that was awesome. I mean, those seems to be so much that you could do with customization it is insane like look at this you can even change the names on the little sock like i thought that was awesome like really you can put your name on the in the, on there you can um add your friend's name i mean you can do a lot that that was cool you can add the names on the socks like seriously that's a very nice perk to have and it seems so easy to place things and um to, to customize so I really do want to see this when it comes out how easy it will be or if there's gonna be a lot in order to get to that stage where you can customize this much you can basically build almost anywhere from what this video is telling me um, you can have curves walls and it seems so easy to make too so I'm just like whoa well, I am impressed right now and I again I'm not a builder but um, yeah i i am happy for them look at you can place things anywhere almost even the windows you can change the place you can make them bigger or smaller uh, my thing is are these windows going to be like um usable is there going to be some sort of interaction with the window hopefully this will be open map um i don't i have not read anything about that uh, but i really hope that the game will be open maps because Come on, I love open maps personally. And look at how much you can, because that's one of my problems right now with The Sims is that the lots come like in a size and uh, maybe there's a mod out there to change it, but you know, you can't really change the size of the lot. But here it seems to be so easy. You can actually customize your own lots and how you want it to be. So this is, this is great. You can make it square. You can, I mean, that is awesome. And it seems so easy to do. And this is, the the number one question I have, everything seems so easy to do. Is it really going to be this easy to do all of this? I mean, yeah, if it is, then oh my god, kudos guys. So we don't know yet what the pair of folks are going to look like. Um, but um, they're working on it and I am so excited because I am ready to see what a pair of folks is going to look like. I cannot wait, okay? So they kind of like taunt us with Maggie, her loft. I don't know if you saw that video, but um, you see her shadow. It's like, really? Can I see her now? You know you have a prototype. That's why there's a shadow there. But can we see Maggie already? 
I have so many questions and so many of them are still unanswered and I know I'm not going to have any answers for a little while but I am excited and this is something to be excited of because it seems to be that it will be awesome if they continue uh, the way they're doing things right now. This will be awesome. Um, yeah, let me know what your questions are. I don't know, what is your biggest fear? What do you think that this game will turn out to be? Do you think it will be awesome as we are currently predicting or as I am predicting? Or are you more like, this is not going to make it or this is not what you want a simulation game to be like or to look like? So let me know what you think. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.